Chapter 2 Timothy, my dear son, be strong with the special favor God gives you in Christ Jesus. You have heard me teach many things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Teach these great truths to trustworthy people who are able to pass them on to others. Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. And as Christ's soldier, do not let yourself become tied up in the affairs of this life, for then you cannot satisfy the one who has enlisted you in his army. Follow the Lord's rules for doing his work, just as an athlete either follows the rules or is disqualified and wins no prize. Hard-working farmers are the first to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Think about what I am saying. The Lord will give you understanding in all these things. Never forget that Jesus Christ was a man born into King David's family and that he was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. And because I preach this good news, I am suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained. I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God has chosen. This is a true saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind everyone of these things and command them in God's name to stop fighting over words. Such arguments are useless and they can ruin those who hear them. Work hard so God can approve you. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid godless, foolish discussions that lead to more and more ungodliness. This kind of talk spreads like cancer. Hymenius and Philetus are examples of this. They have left the path of truth, preaching the lie that the resurrection of the dead has already occurred, and they have undermined the faith of some. But God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are His, and those who claim they belong to the Lord must turn away from all wickedness. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be a utensil God can use for His purpose. Your life will be clean, and you will be ready for the Master to use you for every good work. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. Follow anything that makes you want to do right. Pursue faith and love and peace, and enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. Again I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. The Lord's servants must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. They must be able to teach effectively and be patient with difficult people. They should gently teach those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts, and they will believe the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap, for they have been held captive by him to do whatever he wants.